Hey guys, Flash Century here, and uh, I accidentally pressed the square button to hit, listen to the voicemail, so... But these are our qualifying goals, qualifying 17th and beat Stoffel. Stoffel the Waffle. And, uh... Yeah, we're at Monaco today, and I am not... I am not... Too happy about that. I mean, it's a great, it's a great, it's a great track, it's historical and all that, but... Driving it is horrible. <laughs> You'll see what I mean in qualifying. All right, first I'm going to put this on maximum downforce because I have my custom setup on this car for practice, all three of them, and I could it could not stay on the track for nothing. It was all over the place, so I'm going to just increase it just put it up to maximum downforce so I can stay in the track. Also you might notice I had changed the uh, camera because I tried as much as I could with the standard camera that I used, the far back camera, but I, I could not. It was not working for me. Okay, this is much better. It's not as oversteery as, as it was with the setup I was using. Oh! Hit the wall. That's probably gonna be a theme. Is that a leaf? Or a bee? I couldn't tell. Anyway. Going through the tunnel here. One of the most uh, remarkable, memorable moments in this uh, circuit. Man, this thing is tough to turn. Yeah, we're not beating our qualifying goal. That's a... That's a gimme. Oh, I am surprised I stay on track for as long as I have. That was another thing I had trouble with during practice. And there we go. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm just glad I made it through this track in one piece. He went to 13th? How? Surprise, mother Flash. 19th. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright, let's uh, see what... Oh, by the way, I, I forgot to tell you. I had to start on a new gearbox because uh, this one right here... It started uh, randomly shifting gears on me, so I had to switch to a new one before the six race limit. So I'm going to be starting in the back anyway. So, doesn't make much of a difference now. Alright, let's go to race. Yeah, good luck with that. Wait, am I starting on the inside? No, oh, it's the outside. Right. Uh, okay, we're doing 20 laps, 21.6, yeah, that's good. Uh... Should I do a reverse strategy again? I'll try to. I could gain two tenths if I do it like this, pit on lap 10 for the super softs and end it on the ultra softs. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I really wanted to start using my wheel for this race because I knew it was going to be difficult. But no such a luck, so let's just get on with it. Alright, here we are. The Ma Circuit of Monaco. Here we go, green flags. We're making a pass on the inside of... Oh, crud! Well, hit Eric's. Oh, what? Oh, come on. Happy? Jeez. I gotta overtake all of them all over again. Oh, boy. Oh, you still on the inside of me. Are you kidding me? Oh jeez, the hairpin is hairy. 
Oh boy. Into the tunnel. Oh, Kvyat. Uh, let's get something done. Oh boy. Oh. Come on, Larascas. Oh. This whole track is. Might be a good thing around this track. Not really going too fast. Yeah, 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 whatever. I'm gonna bank on there being at least one safety car during this race. No matter, even if it is only 20 laps, it's still Monaco. Oh, cut the corner a little bit. Uh, who else but Flash Sentry? Cutting quarters is all Flash Sentry knows how to do. Apparently, according to this game. Okay, now it knows it just. Ugh. This is the last track you want your nose to itch at. Oh, dang it. I'm coming in. Oh, I think I scratched my nose. Wait, a Hamilton pit too? What happened to Hamilton? Wait, to put ultra. So what? Huh? What? Huh? What? Wait, what? Huh? What is going on? What is Kivy? What? Okay, I am so confused. At least I got a company back here. Compared to last week. Great. I can't wait to not use it. I actually might be able to use it if I catch up to Kvyat here. But that's if I don't damage myself again. Oi! This turn hates me. Oh. I'm still confused as to why Hamilton and all these other guys are back here like this. Especially Hamilton. He's the last one I expected to be back here. Unless he had a grid penalty that I didn't know of because I didn't look at the starting grid. You know, at this point I'm not even sure if the camera angle is helping. But I'm kind of afraid to switch it back to the one I have before right now. I'm getting kind of used to this one. Even better if I had a wheel to use this camera angle with. But nope. My wheel doesn't work for PS4, just for PS3. Sony. Well, even back here, Lewis Hamilton is putting it out. Fastest laps after fastest laps. Ugh. Jeez. Oi! Okay, I don't think I'm catching up to Kvyat anymore. You put these ultra soft tires on. I guess I don't think I am. Driver in front! Driver in front! That like, confirms my, my suspicions. You know, it's funny, we actually got some new upgrades for the McLaren for this weekend. Well, I hope Stoffel's using them to to their best of their abilities. Oh, we got a retirement, I think. Lance Stroll. Well, definitely going to get my finishing goal this week again. Not that it was really out of the question. You know, at least one guy's going to retire every race. Oh, we can't get a safety car for that. He's right there. He's barely even off the track. Come on. 
Throw me a bone or something. Come on. Another thing, during practice, I couldn't even finish any of the uh, practice simulation things. Good. Yeah, I couldn't finish any of the uh, practice simulation things because I would always, like, hit the wall and break my car before I even turn the time. So, when you when you count my lap times, or I'll be cutting the courses, cutting the corners by accident. Because it's really easy to do that here. If you haven't noticed yet. Okay, I saw someone going slow around, uh, this turn here. I forgot what it's called. Each of these turns has names. I only remember like a few of them. Cause I know this is like Casino Square over here. Oh, there's a rail line. Oh boy, that was a terrible <laughs> time to pass him. Does he have a flat tire or something? I think it's a flat tire. He's going really slow, so it has to be a flat tire. If he'd blown the engine, he would have stopped completely. Oh, that's another spot for me. I'm not gonna. Look at the gift horse in the mouth. Look at the gift horse in the mouth. Look at the gift horse in the mouse. What was I even talking about? I have no idea. Oh, this car is slippy. Oh, they're catching him in a bad spot over there on the back. Come on, it has to be a safety car or something. He's literally holding up the field. Come on, FIA, what are you doing? Are you blind? Oh, Stoffel's in the pits now. Not gonna catch up to him, but it's good to know, at least. Just gotta focus on my race, and not hit these walls that are very precariously close to, to the car. Well, Verline made it back to the pits without a safety car. Thanks, FIA, for nothing. Oh, I hate this hairpin so much. All right, Flash, you can do this. You're halfway through the race already. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. It's only Monaco. After this, you get to go to some fun tracks. After this is Canada, which is an awesome track. You know, I can't wait for next year's game. When they have hyper soft tires here instead of just ultra soft, so that's gonna be cool. And not only that, but the McLaren is going to be a whole lot better because we won't be using Honda engines anymore. We'll be using Renault engines. And we're ra racing against guys like Charles Leclerc and uh, Sergei Sorokin. It's going to be in the back all the time. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be realistic, hopefully. <laughs> still be replacing uh, Fernando Alonso because he's still retired. But I heard in the blog that Codemasters put out a few days ago that, uh, I cut the corner, uh, that they're gonna be bringing back a feature for career mode that has been in the game before, it's been, uh, very, oi. Huh. It's been asked about for the longest time by the community. It's gonna bring it back and with the slogan being make headlines, I think it's going to be the interviews that they had a few games back. I, I never played. This is my first time, first game I've played from Codemasters of a Formula One game. But I know that they had interviews a while back on like the last gen consoles. So, I mean, interviews, headlines, kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Now, my question is, what's going to. Like, what's it gonna do for career mode? Is it gonna, like, like, depending on what you answer the interviews, interview questions with, is it gonna, like, determine, like, what teams want you in, in the off season or what? I'm curious. I'm genuinely curious. The game comes out on August 24th, so I can't wait for that. And if you're wondering what I'm gonna do with the series when the game comes out, because I'm definitely not gonna be doing all 10 seasons on this game. I'm going to continue where the season lets off in Formula 1 2018. 
doing the same thing, racing for McLaren, replacing Fernando Alonso, like I said. And for all you Fernando Alonso fans out there, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. And I can't wait. It's going to be, it's only three months away, but it's going to feel like forever <laughs> to me. And hopefully by then I'll be able to use my wheel. <laughs> That's for the current race, we're not doing too bad. I thought I was going to be doing a lot, a lot worse with the Monaco. But I guess it was just a setup that was holding me down. I guess I really needed a really high downforce setup for this track. For this car, at least. Maybe once my car gets a lot better, once we give me, start giving more upgrades, we can do uh, faster setups around this track. Well, they'll probably be in next year's game anyway, so it's probably not going to matter. <laughs> but I will be doing a whole season, this whole season here, in this game before the next one comes out. So I've kind of been bulk recording these Grand Prix lately. Oh, I cut the corner again. Ugh. How do they really expect these cars to slow down that much and turn that much? Well, they probably the real cars probably can a lot easier than I can with the controller. Oh, those guys are kind of catching up to me. I really don't want to go a lap down. I mean, true. Ah, oh, dang it. Don't hit me. Well, so much for not going a lap down. I'm surprised blow a tire. Hitting the wall like that. How my tire wear doing? How is my tire wear doing? That's what I meant to say. <laughs> eh, it's not too terrible. I could probably finish the race on these Ultra Sauce that I've been on for like, what, 17 laps? If I go to the end, well, 16 now, then I'm a lap down. Ugh. But I gotta say, that that battle up there was looking pretty spicy up there. Wish I could watch it. Between Botas and, I think, Kimi Raikkonen? Or was that battle? I know it was a Ferrari. I just didn't get to see the name when I spun that out. I was trying to say spun around and spun out at the same time. They came and like spun her out. Ugh, I hate that chicane so badly. Why couldn't he just make it straight? I love Monaco for his historic. Wait, 48 seconds. I love Monaco for its historic grandeur and all that stuff, but it is a terrible track to race on. Especially if you don't have a wheel, like I do. Ugh, hairpin hates me. I can name so many turns in this track that hate me. The hairpin, the chicane that comes up here. Ugh. Yep. Every time. Oh. Yep. Just make it. Just hit both sides of the freaking wing. Confirm change. Copy that. Yeah, might as well. Who knows, maybe I'll be able to battle with Verline. Not that I really want to. Is that him right there? Going down the front straight away? Okay, no it isn't. Good. Eh, it probably wouldn't be. I, I passed him while he was flat tiring the whole track, so... I guess it wouldn't be him right there. Oh, right in front of my teammate. Wonder what position he's in. I don't want to mess him up. Because he might actually score some points this time for the team. Well, he is my rival. Nah, I'm not going to do that to him. 
I'm a team player. Dang it! There's another turn that hates me in this track. Ah. Rass gas is definitely a hard turn to take. Go by me, teammate. Oh, he's in seventh. Wow. He's in eighth in front of Verstappen. That is amazing. Wow. We bring one. One upgrade to this track, and Stoffel goes from being in the back here with me to battling for points against Red Bull. That is awesome. Yeah, just go by me on the inside. Someone else behind me? Yep. Ugh. I lost my whole wing now. And again, oh, the penalty. Thank you. Oh, Vettel's back here in 13th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to cut the corner here. I'm just going to wait for everyone to go by. Yep. Take your time. Thank you. Oh, I don't want to lose that spot to... Veil line. So I need to. I'm gonna go into the pits. I didn't hit anyone, did I? That'd really suck if I did. Who is that? Oh, it must be Magnuson. He must have hit me or something. I'm on the last lap anyway. So. Just got a baby at home. Ugh. And driving without a wing is the hardest thing to do in a Formula 1 car. Next to driving without a tire. Or all four tires. Yeah, 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 whatever. What have I got to lose at this point? The one behind me is the line, and I don't know if he's... I don't know where exactly where he is, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure he's... More than six seconds behind me. At least I hope. Oh, so Botas won another race. I just realized that. That's going to open up his championship lead even more. Oh, crud. He is by behind me. Well, that sucks. And here are our podium drivers today after that excellent race. Oh, wow. It's, uh, it's Sergio Perez. Wow, great. Great job on the podium, man. It's ironic because you got a podium in uh, real life at Baku. And Azerbaijan. We went over for Mexico, man. Andale. Ese. Is that racist? Alright, looking at the results. Uh, well, Stoffel got his first points of the season. Great job, man. And uh, he finishes the seventh. He gets six points from the team. While I get nothing in 19th. And yeah, that, that those penalties did put me behind. Fair line, but I still finish in my finishing goal. Luckily, because Stroll, you know, wrecked out. Look at the standings. I go down to 10th with my 15 points, but Stoffel goes up to 13th, which is awesome. And for the constructors, we go down six, go down to sixth, even though Stoffel got points for us. But we're still only uh, five points behind Renault, so we're still in that uh, mid midfield battle. I'm pretty sure Force India is going to get the best of the rest automatically, so we're going to try to get the best of the best of the rest. Or the best of the rest of the rest. 
You know what I mean? And with that, that basically means that Stoffel is going to <laughs> win this rivalry. Like there was any ever any ever doubt. Alright, and that that's gonna conclude the uh, Monaco Grand Prix. It wasn't as terrible as I thought it would be, but it was still pretty terrible. But luckily for me, we go to a track that I am very, very good at. Whether the car is gonna be good at it is a different story. Oh here's Stoffel. Hey Stoffel! Great win! Or victory uh well victory for us anyway. And uh so we're going to Canada next time, which is a great track for me. And I hope to do well there. So until then, I'm Flash Century and I will see you in Canada.